This is my coal fired engine that I've built. I just thought to do a short video of how to steam it up uh, and what's involved in the different controls. On this engine, um, it has some standard features that you'd find on a gas fired engine, such as a regulator, displacement lubricator, sight, um, pressure gauge on uh, most engines now, and on some engines you do get a sight glass as well now. The controls that may not be too familiar are the blower valve. This valve is for creating a draft when the engine is in steam to keep the fire nice and hot. And this is a, what we call a bypass valve because there is an axle pump between the frames running off the axles and it pumps continuously. And what this valve does is either close off the feed back into the tender which will then pump water into the boiler. However, if you open it, then the water will just pump into the tender. For continuous running on a coal-fired engine, I have a tender on this engine with a hand pump inside. Very difficult to do one hand, but basically you have the lever there that you pump backwards and forwards to fill the boiler. And there's also a valve there for using the Jackson's miniature water pump as well. I would recommend this water pump. It pumps in a lot more water than the standard bottle and personally I think it's essential for coal firing. A few things that you'll need for your coal fired engine. Steam oil as uh, standard. Anthracite or some sort of uh, coal. Charcoal salt in uh, white spirit or barbecue lighting fluid. Your normal light oil, I use engine oil or gear oil, depending on the type of engine. A battery power blower, contrary to its name, it actually sucks the air through the chimney to create an artificial draft until the engine has enough steam to draw its own fire. And obviously a battery there to run the blower off. First you need to oil around the engine. There's a very long copper pipe on this one, that's because I have 5 inch three and a half inch gauge engines as well so the longer pipe is needed to get between the frames on this engine it's not too bad but I'm, I'm not buying another oil bottle for the same thing when I can just use this one so you basically want to oil all the moving parts on it if you're not sure and if you have your own engine I would recommend that you just literally turn the wheels round and see what moves and oil everything that moves quite crude and simplistic but obviously you need to make sure that everything's oiled including the axle pump between the engine perhaps you can't quite see on here but uh, you need to oil that as well and including the eccentric at the back as well which is running off the axle to start with you fill the firebox with the charcoal soaked in pyro and I fill this just below the door it's only a small firebox on these engines. It can burn through quite quickly. I find on this engine, although it may be different on others, if I don't if I put less in, it burns through too quickly. And I'm filling up with more charcoal pretty quickly after I've lit the first lot. oiled all the moving parts the next thing is to put steam oil in this is just roundhouse steam oil that you can get from them I fill it right to the top and you need to fill that up every hour or so of running the boiler is already full of water I did that um, in these two hands the blower is in place I've got one cable on I'm ready to put the other one on so you just light like the charcoal fire is lit. So you just shut the door and just let the charcoal start to burn. Once it started to the fire starts to get established and then perhaps add a little bit more charcoal and I'll add some anthracite as well. There's no need to rush this. 
full of water. Got plenty of water in reserve. Could just slowly build up a, uh, a decent fire. We'll move now, have a check. Yeah, it's starting to catch now. What I'll do is a shovel uh, full of uh, charcoal on to keep it going. and then I'll put on about half a shovel of coal. The trick with this, oh, there we are. The trick with this is to let the first shovel full of coal catch. You need to wait before adding the next shovel full uh, just, to, to, uh, just until it's lit. Fresh day just is starting to rise in now. Nice fire. I, w I must say, I'm only doing this for the video because I've got one hand, but really, should always try and keep the door shut as much as possible. The fire's caught nicely. Just put the blower on now. Let's check. Yeah, it's quite nice for that. So I'll just keep adding coal until it's established. Steam. Put it forward, still from the regulator. Oh, too much. Just turn the blower off. Put on the bypass. That'll just tick away nicely there. Just open the door a little bit there, just a bit flowing off. Try and keep it efficient. There we are, it's quieting down now, I'll just shut it too. And there we are. Fire. Nice. Healthy glow there. I'll actually put on a few more shovels. Oh. 